Well, hey guys, welcome to The Corner, where we talk about anime, manga, and everything in between. And right now is going to be the Q&A session. I'd normally do this live, but I'm still restricted from doing live shows, like, especially since my other account kind of got taken down. So I'm just not going to risk it at this point and just do it like this. So, for our first question of the day, I wish I got a little bit more, but I did not, so let's get into it. We get a question from All Day Anime. Why did you choose the name The Corner Reviews? Shinji said shit. I've always wondered about that as well. So, so you guys know the story. When I first actually really started out on my channel, um, I used to do a lot of different content. It was between anime, manga, uh, even poetry. I just did uh, whatever came to mind when it came down to it. I even did an AMV at one point in time. It was just something I ended up doing. Well, because I wanted to more pursue the poetry aspect of my corner, I ended up calling it the corner. Uh, more for the poetry corner or the anime corner, depending on which way it went. But I only did corner because it just rolled off the tongue a lot easier than saying uh, poetry or anime, anything like that, put right into it. So the corner reviews became the account name after a certain aspect because it was normally just the corner that flipped into as I started to do more anime reviews the corner reviews so the uh, the actual story of my background for that is kind of simple actually it all started with my poetry in the end and why not took off into this situation here all right so if you guys are still wondering, I don't know what else to say to you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you can tell throughout the years on the difference that ha that um, my community has made on my channel and the changes I've made throughout time. I had went from this low graphical situation with a cam just a, uh, my laptop cam on a crappy computer to actually having a better camera uh, with a lot better laptop, doing a lot more edits, and doing a lot more with the channel itself. So I'm actually pretty happy on where that's ended up where it is now. Alright, and then we have something from All Things Anime. What was your first ever anime you watched? <laughs> well, honestly, I don't remember. Um, because it was so long ago. The first animes that I actually got a hold of, though, were Yu Yu Hakusho, Digimon, and Pokemon, along with Dragon Ball Z. I'll pick from that list of those four, and one of them bound to be the right one. I've watched plenty of different animes throughout my lifespan, and those four are the ones that were the original things I've seen from the very beginning, when they first started out, when they first started becoming something more. So. I can't really tell you exactly which one was my first, but I can tell you which one was the first one I watched with my father, and that was Dragon Ball Z. And I enjoyed it because I could spend time with my father on Dragon Ball Z, with Dragon Ball Z, and we still watch it from today every so often. We'll he'll pop up, and Dad's like Dragon Ball Z's on, and I'd run up, and we'd start watching it together. That's sometimes what ends up happening every so often whenever I'm kind of disappearing or something like that. It's because I'm upstairs watching something with my dad because it's. Something that we enjoy watching together. Even now, he's still conscious of what my likes and uh, what I like to watch and stuff. And he went on about a cosplay uh, show that's going to be starting up on Fox on Tuesday. So that's going to be fairly interesting to watch when, I, when it comes down to it. Alright. Has anyone really been... And this one's from Jaku Reviews. Jaku. I just did a... A roast on him, but you know... It was pretty fun, and he asked for it. He really, he really did. He's like, Mark, you, sh uh, you should do this uh, review right here. I'm just like, okay, sounds good. That's so I did the roast, and that's what ended up happening. It was really fun to do, too, because uh, my mom and everything like that. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of diverging from his actual question here. But there's a question from him. Has anyone really been so far, have anyone really been so far, even as decided to use, even go, what to do look more like? We need answers. What? Okay, give me a second. Yeah, I'm probably going to fade out here for a second. 
Has anyone really been so far even as decided to use even go what to do look more like? We need an answer. Has anyone really been so far ever as decided to use even go want to do look more like? Sorry, Jacob. Your question is a bunch of nonsense, and I don't even think it's proper English. I I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what you're saying here. It's impossible to decipher because uh, if there's a few words I know could be taken out and something being put back in, but doesn't make sense no matter what I could put in there because unless you're trying to ask, um, has anyone really been so uh, so far up my list or something that I have tried to take my channel I'd like and that's the only thing I can think of well, who I would want to be more like with that when it comes to channel decoration but, but if that's the case I can answer that right now I'm just doing my ideal I'm just going to do my stuff and I, I've been taking a few things from other channels but my main thing was because of I malls are completely white and I don't have anything to put on them right now because it's all packed away and stuff and I can't really get get to it um my wall is completely blank so I'm using the green screen to give more of an accent to what's actually going on in my background, and I think it helps out a lot more when it comes down to it. So, sorry JQ, I can't really answer that question well, and I wish I could. I'm sorry. Alright, now we'll go to uh, another one from Shinji. No, Shinji's first one, I should say. Favorite pair of anime tits? Oh, man. Favorite pair of anime tits, huh? Uh, here, here. I don't know the enemy, uh, the enemy's name, so I'm going to do this real quick. Here, here, and her, her. She's my favorite pair of anime tits, right there. They are gorgeous. Look at them. They are amazing. Oh my God! Now I gotta bring that back up. Yeah, there you go. That's my favorite pair. That's the best way to explain it, right there. And it looks like my background came off. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I don't have a background here. That's right. Okay. Boom. All right. So those are. Those are. They're perfect. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Um, thank you, Shinji, for that, uh, uh, that inquisitive uh, bit of knowledge there. I, I thought it would be great to make sure you understood the intelligence that we're talking about here. Okay, Shinji? Don't worry. I understand completely what you wanted, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, not really. All right, Luna, who frequently comments out back with me and stuff like that, and we talk every so often, so she asks, or he, I'm not too sure. I think it's a she. I never know anymore. These put, I'm going to just say she. I'm assuming a gender here. I know. Shh. Quiet. Why do you not like to comb your hair before your reviews. Uh, oh, uh, because normally I don't comb my hair. Normally I don't even let my hair get so long that it looks bedheadish. I normally just spike it up and do what I need to do with it. I've hit a point every so often where my hair just grows really long like it is now. It's getting pretty long, so whenever I wake up, my head's, hair is just kind of poofy and I don't own a comb. Yeah, because I normally like to try keeping it short, and usually when it comes down to my long hair, it's usually easy enough to keep managed, because it starts to wave and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's weird. Anyways. From the anime dude, what's your favorite color? Come on, man. Really? You haven't noticed? Come on. Red. Come on. That, 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 come on, man. You haven't noticed? Come on. Come on. You haven't noticed? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, from Drive of Anime, which he changed his name on me, and I'm upset because I couldn't find him when I wanted to take him. It was not nice. Cry. So, his question is, what is the meaning of anime? What is the meaning of anything? What is the meaning of life? What is you? But that's not the point. What's the meaning? 
Well, for my for my thing, the meaning of anime for me and uh, definitional type of form is not what you guys may think. My thought of uh, anime is something that's is supposed to be fun to bring a community together and to put people in a situation where they can have fun and enjoy what they love and to be able to take that and be able to do what they need with it and be friends and stuff. Not all this stuff I've been seeing lately since apparently I've never really been in the anime community, apparently. I've been a part of an anime community that is very accepting of everybody and we all enjoy each other's company and don't cause drama with each other or people around us. We just enjoy ha being around each other and know that we can entrust each other to give us the proper uh, proper amount of critique that we need. So I've always been around an anime community that isn't as judgmental and I love that. I love anime because I love meeting the people in anime. I love meeting everybody in anime. So anime to me is kind of like a friendship type of thing and I could care less if you're a giant reviewer or a small time reviewer. I could care less if you watch anime or watch uh, RL. I could care less about what you do, what you say. I want to accept whatever you do and whatever you say completely. And anime to me is kind of like a situation where a community that is accepting of others and enjoys having fun. And I would enjoy having uh, sitting down watching anime with anybody, no matter what it is. And that's just how I am. So anime to me is kind of like life. Anime is something I love, and it's something I want to have fun with, you guys, so, getting a little sappy there. Anyways, oh, by the way, don't change your name on me without telling me again, I'm watching you now. Anyways, another one from Noon, Luna, what's your favorite um, popular anime? Right now, honestly, I don't have favorite animes. I really don't. Um, I have uh, animes I'm enjoying at this point in time, but when it comes down to favorites, that's hard for me to even state or even do because I love all anime. I love every every aspect of m almost every anime. Even though I have certain animes I would rather not watch because, oh my god, horrible things happen in some animes. <laughs> but... Uh, honestly, uh, if I were to say a good off-series anime that I've been watching recently is Is It Wrong to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon? And I, it's been a really fun one. Okona Soba, which I feel is more of a popular anime, uh, but I do enjoy those type of anime, so they, it's pretty fun to watch and enjoy those uh, as time goes on. So, I can't really answer that question uh, to uh, good fruition, but I'll give you that uh, the anime right there. So, all right, and next is Kalua Zodiac. Zodiac? Zodiac? Kalua Zodiac? Uh, not your accent series, uh, Kalua. Um, character. Sorry, guys, I can't seem to read that last part for some other reason. I don't know why. Sorry for destroying your name there, man. He asks. What's your all-time fave anime character and me why love... Okay, love your content. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm glad you love my content. <laughs> Anyways, uh, characters anyway. Anyway, okay. Actually, I do have a favorite character, and honestly, it's a character that I enjoy personally because he is has always shown to be an amazing character when it comes down to it as he's learning and struggling with his times and still pushing through it and it is actually Kenichi's, uh, Kenichi from History's Strongest Disciple. He strives through, he was uh, the reject, the person that people didn't like too much and it's always been somebody I've always been able to relate to the best out of most every anime character in the world. It, he's the one I've related to the most when it comes down to it, just because of what he's been through and what he tried to strive to push himself through even more. He's the underdog. He's the person that pushed hard to get where he was, so he wasn't in the situation he was anymore. And I wish I could be more like Nietzsche when it comes down to that, because I want to be able to push myself into a situation where I'm 
even happier than I am now, and I am doing the best, no matter the crazy circumstances that make me end up in that situation. So, I think it'd be Kenichi and if uh, any characters. But if you were to ask me my favorite waifu or something like that, it's origami. Just just know that. Right, straight up, guys. My, she, she's my favorite girl char anime character out there. She is my favorite. I'm not going to lie. What she does, what she says, how things are. Her composure and what she does is just hilarious. So, I, I just I just love her. It's just awesome. That's that's why I'm just like, she's my only waifu. And it's just it's because of her character and personality. Uh, she is awesome. It, it, it really is. She is. But Kenichi is probably the one I, I relate to the most. So, it's the one character... I like the most, uh, one of my most favorite ones, I should say, because a lot of uh, characters tend to become OP characters, the chosen character, um, they become a character in stories that are already written to be OP, they're already written to be great, they already have a system in place that states they are going to be the great ones in their life. In History of Strong and Disciple, we didn't have a prophecy like that. We didn't have an OP character. We had somebody that was learning, even though he had no talent for what he was doing, but pushed himself hard to get into that situation, and he does a great job of doing that, too. He does an amazing job at it. So, Kenichi pushing himself through with... He has nothing, no chosen prophecy, nothing like that. He is just Kanichi. He is just a normal human being being brought to a different situation, which could be known as supernatural or something like that, but it really isn't. It's more of the martial art type situation, and he's being built into a martial artist, a master of sorts, an all-around master of martial arts, a mixed martial artist in the end. Um, it's something that people can strive to do in the first place, whether it's, uh, fighting or anything like that. Unlike some of the other ones I've seen to watch where a uh, character comes from nothing and becomes a powerful character, um, Kanichi had more of a, a feel to it, I guess. And it just brought things out, I guess, in the end. But, unfortunately, I ran out of questions after that, so... I really did enjoy reading all these questions, and for 50 subs, I'm not going to lie, this is probably what I expected from 50 subs in the first place. So, I'm just happy that you guys even gave me questions to uh, answer to. Um, one thing my sister uh, wanted me to, uh, one thing my sister asked me was, why do I have uh, thoughts that Natsu and Lucy aren't going to get together? And that one's an obvious one. And I've stated it before, Natsu has, does the same thing with everyone, but he views Lucy as more of a best friend. So he ends up showing up in her areas, everything like that, just because he wants to be able to hang out with her and have fun. And he has the most fun when he's around her. And that's why I don't see, think he has any special feelings for her, but she's been friendzoned by him. So Natsu... Yes, Natsu is one of those characters that is dumb to love. He, he doesn't know it. He doesn't care for it. And he has no feelings uh, when, uh, when it really comes down to it uh, one way or another. Especially since he could die at any moment in time because of Zara. Which, uh, at this point in time, it seems like he won't be dying by, if Zara dies. But that's still not the point here. There's a lot when it comes down to the whole fairy tale relationship thing. And I do feel that... If it really comes down to anything, Natsu's probably going to get with his childhood friend because they she's already said that he's going to be her husband. And I feel that's a foreshadowing of what's going to happen later on. Lucy has plenty of chances to be with other characters, and there's definitely going to be something going on. But when you think of it uh, logically, this, it just seems like that's the better fit over Lucy and Natsu. But... That's the it for my questions, so I guess I shall end this with a good uh, thank you guys, and make sure uh, some of these guys do have YouTube channels, like JQ Reviews, uh, check him out sometime, uh, All Day Anime, he has way more than I do, so this shout out really means nothing, but if you want, 
please check him out. Also, at the anime dude has way more than I do, but still check him out as well. Senji, he's came back his channel up, so check him out. And we also got... Uh, did, did. No, Mr. Karate didn't. Karate didn't give me a question. How could he? Oh, and also, uh, Steven, the one that changed his name, and now I can't even say his name out right away, uh, has a channel, so check him out as well. Um, I've, uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to have them in my uh, section below. And I think things anime also... Yeah, commented, so check him out as well. But uh, everyone that's commented on my things have a channel, pretty much. Just do it. Everybody I said, just do it, okay? 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 Okay. Okay. So until the next time, you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And a fun one as well. And here's to 100. And also, guys, remember that 100 subs means I do a lot of workout. Oh, God, that's going to kill me. So until that 100 subscriber limit, where I'm probably going to die while trying to review an anime with a bunch of 100 legs, punches, push-ups, and blah, 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 blah. You guys have a great day. And a fun one as well.